And, and I tell you what, uh, this part of building the boats is a pleasure to do, I would say. The, the part I hate is building the rig and, and attaching the cells, but really it's the rig. Um, it, uh, I hate doing rigs. I wish somebody out there would just say, okay, I'll, I'll build the rigs for you. All right, so <laughs> it's pretty in place now. Yeah. Moving it around, it doesn't really wanna come out too easily. Now I want the stand because I don't want that sitting weirdly on the table. And boom! Okay. There you go. Done with step number, that was step three. So now we need to insert, oh well we kind of already did insert the rudder from the bottom. No, we need to insert this from the bottom. Okay, while you do that, I'm going to swap out that keel on the Dragon Force. And because I know our viewers want an absolutely fair comparison and I believe, believe me, um, this will be as fair as it can be. Um, nobody sent us any of these products. Nobody's sponsoring this. So this is absolutely fair and I will give you my unbiased opinion. Um, but earlier I did say I'm Region 2 Director, so does that make me unbiased? But uh, as long as we're not sponsored, but if you do want to sponsor us, <laughs> feel free to reach out. Good, I will take it. But I, I do have a lot of integrity, as he knows. So. Yeah. So, it will be fair. So it says insert the rudder from whole bottom. So we're going to insert it from down here up to the top of the deck through a rudder arm. Where all is the rudder arm? Should I know where that is? The rudder arm. It, it looks like this piece, but I don't think that's entirely correct. No, the rudder arm is back here somewhere. Okay, let me look. So you'll stick that up through this hole right here, okay? Yep. And then it's going to come through here, right there. And then you have the rudder arm. That, that's what I thought it was. It looks right. like it, but it's not um, actually that. It's going to be this piece right. right here, which you need to show everyone. It's what very it small, so we'll need a little zoom in on that. Yeah. I'm thinking that's it, because I don't see any other piece like that. There's some string oh, for you. Oh my god, that piece is so small, it almost rolled away from me. You need a whole microscope with this black piece right here. And, and some of these pieces are quite different from a dragon. Like I said, I built four dragons and looked at plenty of them. Like this piece right here is different. So, there are some differences. But it's kind of curious to me though how the kill and ballast and even the standard pretty much the same. Alright, I'm kind of lost here because there's, it's so small in the picture. So, I'm trying to find out what all's which. So this part isn't a part of that at all because it actually connects, this, that part is there. This part is going to be back here. So it looks like it goes like this in this picture. Let me zoom in on that for but you. But something will end up, what? All right, I think there's something I'm not getting here. Cause there's a part that goes through another part that's like really, really small. Yeah. And I can't find that part. And, and see, this is kind of good because this is what happens with new people to our hobby. That, you know, buy a boat and it doesn't matter which boat you buy unless of course you buy a used boat that's already together or a, a boat that you get from somebody that's already together, but I think I'm missing a piece. Like a really skinny long piece. Okay, that piece right there is going to go on top of the mast right here. You guys can recognize that. That actually looks like what came on the um, older style um, Dragon Force 65s. In fact, uh, the funny thing about Dragon Force 65s, um, we have um, two of the version 5s and two of the version 6s, right? The version 6 is the kind that has the, the big white cells on them. Does it matter how far I push this in, like all the way, or... You just want, you want that to barely not be touching, right? Because you don't want it to bind. Because like, look, you can hit the boat if you push it Right, but right. that's backwards because you want it to match up like that, yeah. okay? That's we, we don't want it to hit. 
So you want to stick it up far enough to where it's tight to the boat, but not so tight to where it rubs. Yeah, I'm trying to find that perfect spot. That's the wrong way. Yeah, but I have to test if it's going to hit. Well, it won't spin around. It won't go that far? No. You, if, if it's going around 360 degrees, then you got problems with your surface. I thought it does this in the water. Yeah, that's what it does. So it'll never actually hit that. That's good. Good. Right. For beginners, it's never going to hit the side. Okay. Yep. There we go. Now i got to stick this in the top. I don't think that's gonna work. I'm missing something. Insert the rubber from the whole bottom of the deck through a rubber arm connected with a clip. I don't have a clip. Is this the clip? The clip. There's the clip. All yep, right. that's probably the clip. And here's another clip. Are they different right sizes though? These are basically little Allen Type clip. They're different. Here. They're different hooks there. or clips. This actually connects to this, so that's not it. This has to be it. Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. And then it actually goes in like that. No, like this. So and the that. funny thing about watching this is it takes me back to the first time I built my dragon. Um, I said six hours, but <laughs> it was over two days um, because a lot of things that um, they take for granted that like a veteran seller would know. If you're a novice like this, you don't really know how the parts go and, and luckily for Weston, he has me here to kind of help and guide a little bit, but so I will sticking, let him flounder a little bit too. I'm sticking the clip through this metal part right here. That's what it says in the instructions, so hopefully I'm right. But I also don't know if it's supposed to go, because there is like a little bend in the clip, if it's supposed to go this way or that way. But we'll find out, since it is my first time building one, I can mess up. Yeah, you can mess up and, you know, everybody's human. And maybe other people that build this boat will get a little chuckle, because they'll have the... Oh, they are uh, laughing hysterically at me. Probably. Right. So like this but that still won't fit okay so what happened wait 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 let me show you let me help a little bit all right okay so what happens is this you see how there the hole in here has a flat side to it okay so you know that that has to go on this part of the rudder the top of it it has a flat side on it so we know that that has to go on like that Okay, so it pops right on there, okay? Mm -hmm. Which, I guess it could pop right off too. There's really nothing that holds it. Eventually you might want okay. to tighten something in. Wait a minute, okay, let me show you something. Now, let me show the viewers. Hold this right here. Because this part right here is actually gonna go through this little hole there, okay? okay. That way when your servo turns, it moves, and you should have a little screw the clip, the Allen, no, the Allen wrench right here, real small one, of course, that little Allen wrench that came up with, right here. This right here is going to tighten down on that little old push bar, and that's how you will adjust the angle of this, by how far it is up on the push bar. Now, let me bring the camera right in there, so, so this people actually can needs see. To, this metal part needs to go in there? It, the metal part will go through that little hole. There we go. Let's see if you did it right. That's the part I was confused yes, about. He I did didn't it right. know which uh, metal part we were referring to. I'm like, it looks like this almost on the the tool guide. See, that's very, very similar. Yep. And and something to remember here, um, I would not even tighten that up yet. The top piece, because in the very top of that little there's actual allen wrench and you tighten that down on the rod but i would wait till we power up the electronics for the first time because when you power it up depending on which position the the servos in it's going to throw that rod one way or another and what we want is with the controller on and it with the 
switch in the neutral position, we want to tighten it then. That way we can make sure that the rudder is actually absolutely straight. Okay, go ahead. All right. Um, Cut this part out. No, there's a pants pants fitting break here. What are you doing? I'm fixing my pants. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Back to work. So now we have uh, this clip still needs to go in there, and it actually faces this way. The fat, like circular part facing towards the outside of the boat, the back of the boat, and it looks like this diagonal part needs to face to the left if you're looking at it from here. So then we need to get, how am I supposed to fit it in this metal okay. part if it's like halfway cut off? I guess I could. Okay, let me help. Okay. Look, it cuts off half the circle. Okay, well then you push this down and push that up. There you go. Yes, and okay, so that's how they hold the rudder up in there. There's a little out, um, cutter key type thing that slides in there, and that's what he's doing right now. He slid it in there, and that holds the rudder so it cannot drop through. All right, I got that part figured out there. And, and for comparison, the, the Dragon Force actually uses like a little bolt type thing that tightens from the side. So I don't think either way is better than the other that I can see. All right, next part is we have this piece right here, which is the cord holder. And we have to connect it to this part of the deck right here with two screws. So I'm guessing these two screws right here. Well, hold on, let's see the screws you're talking about. Okay. Only other screws on the table. I'm assuming these are it. No, they aren't. <laughs> They're longer than that. Oh no, that's not it. Where are the other screws? In? Okay. So you got a whole nother bag right there, right? Or somewhere. That's a key oh, that's not it. Alright. So do you think that they could be in with the sails? There's no way, the sails are separate. I don't even want to open it that way, I want to open it from the top. They're longer screws. But they, I mean, they actually have the, uh... Oh, the other thing I have found when building things, sometimes they're already in whatever you're building. And I guess at the factory, after they do the directions, they figure they want to stick those screws in. So, just always make sure it's not already in there. It's not in there. Because whatever is going in there, it might actually be these. You okay. just have a really small... And then, of course, check these things again. I think these are it. These are it, definitely. You found them? Okay. It's, okay. it's got to be these. It's just... So, I guess the difference they did is they added a big top to this part. On, like, a, the circle outside of the screw. But that's not on the directions. Oh, okay. So, so it's really fat at the top, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, good. Okay. And then I have a screwdriver. And we need to first actually put on the... Where did I put the fat black part? Right here. We need to line this up first, and then we will put in two screws, each in the little hole. Start one. There you go. So this is actually a different type piece than what the Dragon Force uses. Um, the Dragon Force actually has a piece that comes up out of a hole um, by the mast. In fact, the older versions of the Dragon Force do not even have this piece, um, but the version six does. And of course, I bought the the little parts and I added it to my version five. Um, but is it really needed? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, because there's other adjustments you can make, but you know, I added it anyways because it, it seems like it could work. But all it does is gonna keep your um, lines, I guess, straight back there. We'll show you when we get to that portion. 
and I'm going a little bit on each side just so you don't stress one of the screws more than the other one. So it's good to trade on and off. And it looks like I'm getting pretty close to both of them screwed in pretty well. Should this have a little bit of movement or should no, this be, no, should be tight. completely tight? Okay. So we got a little bit more tightening to do on this one. It's pretty tight on there now. Maybe a little bit more on this side. Alright, that barely moves like at all. Okay, good. So we got that part in now. Next, we have to insert a long mast through main boom. So we have the long mast here, mast, and I need to see which side, if the side with this screw goes in first, and it looks like it does, so we need to take out the screw. It looks like, do we? I need to read it real quick. I'm not sure. I It looks like you need another like mass type part to go in here as well. Is it this? Well, on the Dragon Force, like when you build the bigger, um, like the A+, plus, there is actually another part that goes in. It, it's like a part so, here. So what does it look like on here? Look at the directions. Always refer back to the directions. It kind of looks like this thing. But I know it's not this thing. Because it's got this part on it. I'm going to take your keychain off the table. Because all it does is keep confusing. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what part I'm missing. That's kind of neat that they, they give you a little keychain, right? <laughs> yeah. Like this doesn't do anything. It, it, on the directions, it looks like it almost goes like here. So, but there's another part that's supposed to go here as could well. Could it be this piece right here? I was thinking that if you look on the directions, it's another piece. It's almost like just that big. You know, look at the hole there. See if it slides into your mask. It does, so maybe this is it. And something else I always do, if in doubt, check back to the actual picture uh, on the on the box, and sometimes you can figure it out by that, which by looking at this, um, no, I don't think that's right. Yeah. Do you see there's another like, cylinder piece that was supposed to be? Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Help you out here. Through the main boom. Is this the main boom? No, the main boom is gonna be the part that sticks out, which... So maybe we do need to put this on right now. If... That might be what we're missing. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. I still don't know what that piece is right there. Okay, so if I take this out of the box for you, let's see what's in here. Because this is your yeah, it almost looks this like this is your this. boom. This is your main boom. Okay. Okay. So this is what I was missing. And and oh look at my gosh, look at this. Yeah, they have a lot of this already together. Good for them. I mean, because like I said, it's it's like a nightmare for me to. They also tape do these things. pieces of thread on that and on this yeah, side as well. Yeah, already pre-cut. Wow, amazing. Um. That, that's really good if it all works, right? Yep. So it looks like I need to turn it this way. Okay, but look. either, which way does it need to go though? Because this obviously needs to go up like this, right? Here, let me oh. move the camera back a little bit. Well, I don't think you're to that part yet, are you? To well, doing the cell? Insert long mass through main boom. Oh, okay, yes. So that's what you're gonna do. Through the main boom, so where's your mask? Is your mask the same on both sides? Yeah, but it almost needs to do this. Like, up like that. I gotta think real quick. Let it's me... like this. Yeah, that's and then the way it goes. that big part. So it's almost like a two-man job on this part unless I have to just lay that down and then Make do sure the... you have it the right way. Here. So um, stay that should be the right way. Let me go behind the camera so I don't get in the way. But wait, I need the screw side here, I think. 
Okay, looking at the box, what is the proof on this? I don't know. The screw is pretty close, so I'm guessing the screw is on the bottom. That's what I'm thinking. Did it say in the direction? Hold on. Did it go down in the hole? No. Don't break it. I'm trying not to. You sure the other side's not skinnier? I'll try that side. <laughs> Maybe you should have tried this before we stuck it in the boom, right? Yeah, but it doesn't. It wouldn't make sense to do that. And this part just fell off of this. All right, we'll just lay that to the side. We'll get to that later. Because it makes sense for it to go all the way here. Let me see this. This, right? Take so that out. We need to. We. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I got okay. it. Okay. You got it. It is this side. It's got it. And it actually fits in that hole. It has to be, right? Because well, sometimes like, when you put your sail up, this is how it should look like when you're out there on the water, right? Um, that will face the back. Yeah. And so, wait seems... a minute. You do have another part, okay? Because so it needs to do this. Wait. You see how long your sail is? Yeah. So that tells you right there you need a part I need to... So you're missing a part. Which, this? my guess is that's going to go into it, yeah. So, I went on that, yeah. We have to get this to fit in first. Like on a dragon, uh, I, it's been a while since I built an A rig, but... There we go. Okay, I it put in. it in, yeah. Okay. On an A plus rig, there's actual little fitting that goes in between that. Like a there's adapter it. thing, I guess. And... And I think I actually need to use this and tighten this part. Is that what it does? I think it'll keep it in place better. Okay. I'm That's not it. sure. I could just be wrong. And just so you know, you have a little Allen wrench thing right here that you may need at some point, so don't lose that. I don't know, like this part can easily come out of the boat, but that's supposed to be normal. Yeah, because okay. it won't because everything's held yeah. down. And then this part actually needs to go, I guess, up at the top, but I don't see it fitting in my mind. Well, but like I said, refer back to the direction. All right, so we've done that part. Ensure that the mass screw in the main boom slot. So we have this screw in the main boom slot, so we're done with part number six. Now we need to connect the long mast to the four-stay fitting part in short mast. So we, that's the part where we need to add something to the top of this, mm -hmm. which should be... I think it's this. I don't see any other parts that would work too well with this. Okay, let me check. Yeah, it is, I guess, but... Oh, okay, so there's another part there's that goes in between right, these two. that piece. And just so you can see on camera what I'm talking about, this piece right here, that's what's going to... I think I need to one. see that most. Okay, this, this right? Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that is. And you go like this. Okay. Yes. Boom. And the other part will slide down in there. So it does. It's almost like that. You need this at the very top. Yeah, that's what it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yes. And then you slide this right. Oh. Yep. And you may be coming to the point where you actually maybe have to put the boat on that chair behind you to get it lower. Yeah, because it's really tall. <laughs> <there. laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have to stand on See the if chair I can. and that would work? No, you're not going to stand on the chair because no. then that's a safety problem. No, the problem. boat stand then on the just chair. Just think of all the lawsuits we'll get. I'm not talking about me standing on the chair. I'm yeah. talking about the stand on the chair. Oh, okay, yeah. That's it. But now people can see how high this mast is, which I'm curious. I'm going to set this camera this. right here, and then we're going to see how tall the mast is. On an A rig, I'll hold this up. On a dragon, no, we don't care about that. We care about the mass. Okay, which one's taller? Well, actually, this they're about the same, right? Very, Isn't this supposed to be closer to that? They're, they're the same. Isn't this a little small? So, because look at your boat. It goes right up to here, and this one's a little shorter. I know. That's kind of well. All right. Oh. For one, 
this part right here is going to face forward because that's going to go with your jib, which is the front cell. And then, oh, it's because we're missing this part. Well, no, this is okay because look at the box again. All right. Okay. Yep. You see how there's a gap? The way up. So you're going to see the top is actually different on them. You see the dragon force is up a little bit higher than what this one is. So it's good. There's a lot of space. Another little difference right there. All right, let's check out the next step. Um, connect the short mast swivel and metal back stay cane crane, which it almost looks like one of these, but it's probably this thing. Right, it looks like an Allen wrench, but it's not. It's got like a hole inside of it to, uh, to connect somewhere. Right, that is going to connect your back, um, the line that goes from your back stay down to the back of your boat. I think we're still missing something though, because something even goes in between this and this. Well, the good thing to do is look at what parts you have left. So I'm missing, I'm trying to get this. The black part? No, it's already on there. Are you sure? Yeah. It's that part right there. You know. No. So you need I'm, the black part. I'm missing something. So. Where's the black part? That's what I'm trying to say, that black part that extends out. Yeah. I don't have that. Right there. Yeah, let me look for it. So where is that? Maybe it's on the sail or something? So while you're doing that, Look at it. it they even put your bowsies right on the lines, which is really cool. So you don't have to worry about tying that. We're going to see when it comes time to do all that, um, tying those up if they actually get them the correct length. So. I don't know where it's at. All right, so let's move over here where we can actually see. And here's a really small. Thing. Right, I said don't lose that earlier. Look under your directions. So already we've lost a part. <laughs> or I don't, I've never seen the part though. Maybe it didn't like, I've been looking at all the tools. Hmm. That's on. I'm telling you. I've all right. Never well, seen let's it. take a break and look for that.